Hi guys, and welcome back to The Simply Supernatural, where um, John just woke up, he's getting into his morning routine. Uh, Dean woke up as well, let's give him something to eat. Uh, pancakes. Yes. No pasta like last time. Uh, Sam should be awake as well. John, you can't think please. Stop. Yeah. Okay, let's get them out of the group. Yeah, sure. Hold in. <laughs> oh, don't just stop running everywhere. So annoying. Okay. So I do have some plans for today for the family. Um, I thought it was about time that Sam actually grew up, and I was planning on celebrating that with our neighbours. Now, since, you know, you can't invite toddlers over, I was thinking of holding the party at my neighbour's house. You know, just crashing there and being like, ah, let's party. So yeah, that's the plan for today. If they are not home, I will force them home. So that's what we're going to do today, you know, have a little party with the kids. Um, can I just put in baby food? Yeah, okay. I'm not even sure if he was hungry, but... So, Dean, what are you doing? Staring out the window or something? What? What? Winter. <laughs> Always fun. So like, you know, we're not getting a piece of Dr. John. Well, that might actually be a good idea. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, it's still an acquaintance. Wow. That's a problem with toddlers. You can't really do a lot of interaction with them. It's quite boring to, uh, you know. Especially when you have a kid, you can like play peekaboo, and I think that's it. So that will change when you have a kid. And then I will wait a couple of episodes until I age teen up into a teenager, which will be fun, difficult but fun. But John, let's go to the bathroom. I hope the neighbors are home. And we'll force every single member home of that family. <laughs> it's Sunday, so I suppose they're not working. I mean, I'm quite sure they're not working. Well, do you have any... Nah. Can you do something with them? Nah, he already has food. So, oh, would we already go at that hour? Yeah, we should, shouldn't we? We certainly should. Let's hope at least someone says. I think they are. No! I'm, I'm forcing them home. <laughs> As I said, I'm forcing them home. No clue where he would be. Yeah, probably at the school. <laughs> Something. It's not like he has a job. I mean, he has a job, but not on Sunday, right? Oh, look, there's me. Yeah, so that. Car is glitched out. It's really annoying the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, oh wow, deep snow. Yeah, just run through the car. Uh, it's really weird. I think they use their um branch. Did he just say, hey, you too? <laughs> oh, 
that would be quite funny actually. Oh yeah, sure, just drop me. <laughs> no, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, sure, come in. I already decorated the house for a party, by the way. With balloons and stuff, and... You know. So, yeah, let's... Um, let's see. Let's put them in the playpen, I guess. And the uh, um to get money no wow. Uh let's let, let's make it pie and stuff. You know? Uh fear of destiny, what the hell is that? Chocolate mini man. Some a dessert pizza. You know, a dessert pizza just sounds like some sort of pie to me. You know, like chocolate pie or something. Um, let's go for cookies. Eh. Man, there's so many. Oh my god. Blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> what? Oh, raisins. Ugh. Not me. Oat cranberry cookies. I think half of them are from some mod I have. Um, and caramel swirl cheesecake. Got, oh, lemon cake. Wow. But it's for kids. So let's go for brownies. Do we have brownies, cookies? Wait. No, oh, that was already cooked. Um, and mm, carrot cake, mm, I like that. Probably like a very unpopular opinion, but I like uh, carrot cake. Oh, let's go oh, cheesecake! Oh God! Ah, <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. Um, strawberry pie, I guess. And then we can serve it. Uh, maybe we should wait with serving food. God, guys, the laundry is everywhere. So, Dean, let's, um, let's actually see if the rest of the household is home. Uh, but, you know, play game or something. Play a video game. Not sufficiently close. Hmm. I'll fix that. But watch TV or something. Let's see, is the rest of the family home? I feel like this family is never home. Let me reset them, actually. Did that do anything? Oh, there she is. You're resetting in some very weird places, but I, I can handle that. Let's uh, introduce yourself. It's friendly introduction. All right. So, I did say I was resetting everyone to pause them to the party. Hey, um, John, could you put in Pauline as well? You know, it's, I think she's out in the snow by herself. Yeah. Um, I think um, John and um, Wim are, you know, battling for the best dad of the year award. At this moment, I think um, Win is winning. Oh well, no, actually, John has done some shit. Oh, the so I think they're, they're getting acquainted now.
I think they'll find it uh, oh, Currently, not really doing anything. Um, we're playing together, I guess. Oh, they are doing nothing. <laughs> well, they're watching TV. Really put us. Oh, we don't have a radio. Oh. Well. <laughs> She's just going to stand right in front of the TV. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, she. Oh, come on. What's the join? <laughs> Oh god, she's still standing in front of the TV. <laughs> you dork. I know that's not what he said, but that's funny. They are having fun. I totally need to buy birthday cakes. I kind of forgot. <laughs> Bean just discovered how to make an evil snowman. He has a pitchfork. Ooh, nice job! Hi. Make another one. <laughs> That's actually quite cool. An evil snowman. Never seen that before. All right, let's serve some food. Oh God, my mom is having anger issues. Oh God, that close. <laughs> Let me just. I don't know. Ah, people will eat it when they're hungry. Uh, birthday cakes. I kind of need that. Uh, so, let's see. Birthday cake. I'll need two because I'm aging up two people. Um. Entertainment party. Birthday cake. Uh. One here. Well, actually, maybe I should put one here. No, ah, oh yeah, you can. It's not there. It's probably something is in the way. Okay, fine. I'll put the second one there. Ah, all right. So we have birthday cake. Maybe we should. Sam would be older, right? I don't know. What's she going to do? Oh yeah, that's right, they were going to make another snowman. But they're still having fun. John, what are you doing? <laughs> Pillow fight. Kinda wanna see that. Two adult men having a pillow fight. <laughs> While she's working out. Ah, oh, the Sims never stop being <laughs> so no one is watching the toddlers. <laughs> that might be a bit concerning. Alright, so let's see. Let's uh, age up Sam first. 
No one on the lot can age up right now. Oh, yes, I have aging off. That is probably going to be a problem. I think. Uh, and I don't need. What? No one on the lot can age up. Why not? Hmm. I wonder what that is about. Why not right now? Is it because... Never. Well, oh, but didn't I just... <laughs> I'm stuck. No, didn't I just enable aging? You know, maybe if I go into build and buy mode for a second, it will adapt. I think. Alright, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm stuck with a song in my head. Uh, I have to remember not play a racing game. I think we're just a little longer than as well. We used to have Gran Turismo on PlayStation 1 and uh, V Rally. Uh, I liked V Rally the most. I think my dad liked uh, Gran Turismo the most. But yeah. No. Click on the sim. Damn it. Wow, being picky. God damn it! <laughs> no, just stay still for two seconds. Yeah, come. In have to join playing a racing game. So can I age someone up right now? I'm going to check out what the problem is, and then I'll be back. Uh, your comprehensive knowledge of the Sim 3 display during the last load has earned your family 809 lifetime happiness points, which have been evenly distributed among all family members. Well, does that count, Sam? If it doesn't... Oh, yeah. Huh. Huh. Who would have known? All right. Uh, I probably would. Bye. That's crazy. Play with toddlers more. Alright, so can we get Sam out, please? So let's see if we can manually, manually age him up. Let's pick up a. Oh, yeah. So I was like, hmm. Something's off about that. I can't. Oh, now I can! But I can't for Sam. Sam is immortal. I swear. I can't. How can I not age him up? Oh my god. That's really weird actually. What? So I stand on? This is really weird. I can't age Sam up. What? Can I do statistics? <laughs> How can I not age Sam up? What's that? Honey, I'm going to respect you for a second. <laughs> it's weird that one of the two kids I want to age up is not available to age up. No, he didn't. I think there might be something wrong with him. Yeah, then something is wrong with me. I'm going to trigger an age for That's just all the levels of wrong. Ah, trigger an age. Come on, people. It's Sam's birthday. Everyone's upstairs. 
It's time to die! Ooh, we're all excited for this! So we're probably going to have to edit him and create a scene, but that's okay. Like, nobody cares that he's aging up either. Which is kind of brutal. Oh, they always do that little twirl around and stuff. Alright, happy birthday! With crawling and creeps behind him, Sam has finally gotten on his own two feet and become a child. Sam has lots of school and homework ahead of him, but if he studies hard and keeps his grades up, he will be well on his way to success. Now we know how that goes. Due to your excellent grade A parenting, John, you may now choose a trait for Sam to develop. Ooh. Genius, brave, he's wearing ridiculous clothing. <laughs> I just had to remind him. Um, hmm. Athletic, maybe. I think it's quite athletic. Computer with as well. But I don't know if that was already the case at that age. Did I say please? Please? Uh, never mind. Hmm. Oh, nah. I don't think he's much of a fan. Um, yeah, athletic, I think. Boy, Sam, you look awful. But, um, let's age up the other kid here first. Yeah, let's actually celebrate that. Something glitching out about Sam as well. The lean cook is having a birthday party. Yeah, I know. I know that's why we're here. Get a chess table. We're not doing it, but that seems to lose stuff. Sam, your singing is even worse. Fine. Your household has a child. I know, it already had a child. We are celebrating. Yeah, there's really something really bad about that. It's quite funny. I'll, uh, mostly, you know. No, you're not going to become a vocal legend just because you were singing horribly to Lucifer. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Sam is going to be a fun kid, I think. I want to see how ridiculous she is going to live here. Because that is me. Like, that Sim represents me. And she's going to look horrible. I already feel it. Feel it in my bones. Enough to make my system grow? I don't know. Then think. Well, I could see you do that, actually. You know what's an artful activity? Yeah, Sam Party. It's your friend growing up. I always love that little. Oh god, she actually looks cool! What's that face for a chat in my But she looks quite cool! I mean, the shoes are horrible, but she looks quite cool. Yay! Her clothes aren't terrible, and she doesn't look that ugly either. I'm not sure if she looks like me either. Totally check. Come on. You look like me? As a kid? Um... Oh, I need to check her trace as well. But can you look up from the cake? Oh, I love this. It's awesome. I think I had a bit of a finer face when I was really young. Now I don't. I probably have pudding face or something. <laughs> I had quite a fine face actually when I was younger. Oh, we buy a table tennis table. I can understand that. Wash all the dishes. Oh, you're going to be that child. <laughs> Aww. <clears throat> Sorry. 
my voice is kind of off. Yeah, um, maybe we should go home though. Ah, uh, wait, are we? Are we friends? We are best friends with her already. Ah, oh, let's hug her. Give her a hug before we go home. Uh, no friendly. Um. Um. Can I sleep over? No. What in that stage? I didn't even. I didn't even think about going to that stage. I definitely wouldn't mind coupling myself up with. And Winchester. I mean, it's that fucking Winchester. Damn. <laughs> oh, acquire an elixir. I don't know why. Like, we definitely need to change the clothes and stuff. But, you know, I'll do that after the episode is over, I think. Which isn't going to be long. Anymore. So, we're all going home. Good all! Well, I think she grew up quite nice. Like, I'm going to change his hair, definitely. Uh, I'm going to do anything? Well, yeah, definitely his clothing. But... Unreadable sim, Bobby. Bobby, what did you get yourself into? I'm also going to check her straight. Bobby. Genius? I'm genius. And she's good. Well, actually, the good, I guess, really beautiful. This is Gemini. That, that's not right. I'm not Gemini. I'm... Fishy. Fishy. I, don't, I don't know how you pronounce it. Well, I know that technically it would be... Fishy? In... Uh, Latin? But I don't know if in English... Uh, I'm not singing to this. Well, it already sounds better than last thing we've done to Luke. Um... Mm. No, that, that didn't sound good. I'd say the dress is so well, that's okay. I'm going to change it myself anyway. Um... Oh, shit, we don't have a bed phone to sleep. Um... Hmm... Well, actually, I was planning on them to move. Maybe I should do that now. Because, you know, living in the house, it starts to get a bit expensive. Maybe I was planning on moving them to a motel. Actually, you know, to fit their um, lifestyle. <laughs> John's lifestyle, especially now that, you know, Sam has grown up, I feel like it's time. Hmm. Oh. Exciting. Ooh. Good work, no. Eh, let's move. No, move. Move. <laughs> uh, move within the neighborhood. He wants to get married! Oh, And buy a bunk bed. Oh, actually, that's cool. A bunk bed would be really cool. Spurgog? Jesus, Spurgog. Oh, yeah, move and leave your kids behind. Oh, that would be so funny. Ah. Alright, let, let's see. Can we afford it, or do I have to keep money? I can afford it, right? I'm sure you want to move there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to, but I feel like I kind of have to. <laughs> oh, goodbye, beautiful Winchester house. We are moving. It's worth zero. Ah, oh, probably with a rent. Right. Back the furnace. Sell the furnace. Wait, do I have stuff that I really want to take with me? I'm thinking. Um. No. 
that's the short answer. No. Oh, this is such an exciting episode. It's going to be so long. And I'm going to cheat their money down a bit because, I mean, it's ridiculous that he'd have that much cash and live in a motel. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the car was actually pretty staking the car. So. Oh, thank God. The car. Is... No, he's not taking the car. God damn it, John. That's our car. Oh well. We'll get another one. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Yeah, this is an exciting episode, actually. I'm surprised. Oh, goodbye. Beautiful house. Are we all paying for a freaking cab? You assholes. You're asking kids to pay for, for a cab. Kids should ride free. Goodbye, childhood friends. We'll still see you. Eh. Oh, let's follow the scenic route to our new destination and hope we don't get too much. Branches in our face. That person was walking along the road. They were moving to the city. To this cold motel, which I will probably have to refurnish this system. Quite dark, um, at least with the light on also. Um, turn, wait, what the light? All light. Oh, so yeah, we have this little apartment. We're going to live in there. That's our house. I've decided. So that's front door. Uh, so yeah, everyone go to our apartment, which is this one. That's so dark in here. Put on the freaking light. Jeez. All oh, light. So we have need of a bunk bed, I feel. Change that as well. Well, I will surely change uh, the motel to fit their needs, uh, you know, put a bunk bed in for the kids. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'll uh, also put, uh, <laughs> put Sam in creative sim, uh, put his childhood friend, uh, Aline, for me in the creator sim as well and then starting from tomorrow sam is going to school i'm sure he'll do his best um i'm also going to make it that john is going to you know out of town sometimes to see if he can find some vampires or werewolves that he could kill so yeah i think that's a nice change for the series um i hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!